The all-new Echo Buds by Amazon are the seemingly direct competitor to Apple's AirPods and the Samsung Galaxy Buds, coming in at just $130 and promising premium features such as Bose Active Noise Reduction, the Alexa Voice Assistant, and over 20 hours of listening time. In this video, I will put these earbuds to the test to determine just how good the active noise reduction is, the microphone quality is for calls, and of course I will show you the pros and the cons I've found after wearing these earbuds. For just $130, these are a very promising product, but do they hold up to the claim? And are these actually worth your money? In this video, we'll find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike O'Brien and this video is all about the Echo Buds, which I have right here. Now, Amazon just released these last month and they just came out today as the first day you could buy them. But when you open up the box, pretty straightforward. All you really get, of course, you have the Echo Buds in their little case right there. And when I say little case, I actually mean kind of a large case. This is definitely a fairly large case. And of course, I'm comparing the size of this to all of the other ones on the market today. So we have like Apple makes some earbuds, Samsung does, Microsoft is going to, Google's going to, pretty much everyone short of like Pizza Hut is making earbuds. Like any company out there has their own earbuds. Also in the box, you actually get a micro USB charging cable. So a little disappointing that it's not USB-C. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute. And then of course, these two little bags here that come with the wing tips and the actual ear tips. So there's three different types of ear tips. So you have the small, medium, and large to seal off and make sure it fits in your ear properly. That way you can have the best sound quality and the best sound cancellation because there is Bose active noise reduction technology on these. And again, I'll talk about that later as well. Then the wing tips are supposed to hold them in your ear better if you're running or working out or doing any kind of dynamic activity. I found that maybe you don't need those all the time. They are definitely optional, so you can take them off or you can add them. And again, three sizes of that as well. Now, looking at the actual product itself, you have the, I'm gonna call this the cradle. That's what a lot of other companies call this. So the cradle right there is magnetically closed. Regardless, they have one LED on the front, and if you press the button on the bottom, it'll light up and tell you uh, what the battery level is of the lowest of the two earbuds. You'll notice in the cradle, these are also magnetically held in. When you put them in there, uh, the earbuds stay in actually really well, so you can shake it with like almost any amount of force and they really don't fall out under their own weight. So you have to take them out. Good that if you drop this, you're not going to lose them. They say that the cradle right here should be able to recharge these three more times so that you know it should give you up to 20 hours of listening. So that's pretty much all I can say about the cradle right here. On the side, again, micro USB is how you charge this. Unfortunately, this did not get the memo for 2019. It doesn't have wireless charging. So something really interesting, because the Echo Buds are the same price as the Galaxy Buds, if you start looking at the features to figure out which one's better, um, it's actually kind of impressive. But you know what, I'm actually gonna review them in another video. If you guys wanna see my review comparing the Echo Buds to the Galaxy Buds, make sure you go down and click the subscribe button and the bell icon, I'll be releasing that video in the next few days. Now the earbuds themselves, like I said, you have the wing tip which just slides on there very easily and then you have the little earbud tip right there. You also have these five nodes. Those are really only used for when you're putting it in the case. You have two microphones on the back, so make sure you don't cover those up when you put the wingtip on. But these are really a straightforward design. They're a little bit larger than some other earbuds out there, um, like I said before, but regardless, they fit fairly well in your ear, and mostly they stick out a little bit, but they're pretty comfortable, and I could definitely have in my ear all day long, and I don't really think that they're a problem. They're not uncomfortable, and they don't fall out. To test out the pass-through and the noise reduction on these earbuds without you actually wearing them, I'm just gonna play a video and see what levels I can actually hear. So starting off with some white noise, this is an airplane, and right about there with the noise reduction on, um, so I can hear it, and then right about there is where I stop, I stop hearing it pretty much. Now if we go to off, so we turned noise reduction off, I can hear it, this is as if these earbuds were not even on, right? So I can hear it, and as we go with volume down, I stopped hearing it right about there at volume 30. So it was volume 80, now it's volume 30. And if I go to pass through, I can easily hear it. I hear myself, I hear absolutely everything so easily, all the way down to like volume eight. I can still hear it very well. And honestly, that's probably what I'd hear if these weren't even in my ear. 
So these are IPX4 waterproof, which means you shouldn't be swimming with them, but if you're sweating or if it's raining or if otherwise they get splashed, they should be fine. Also, they have proximity sensors there, which is nice and it's pretty standard of a, a sort of flagship-ish earbud like this. So it actually detects when it's in your ear or out of your ear, automatically pauses when you take them out of your ear, and if you put them back in, it'll automatically play again. Your phone just connects to Echo Buds, just a single connection, and it doesn't matter which one you have in your ears or both, uh, it will work just fine. On the outside of each earbud, you have this little glossy spot that is your touchpad, and so you have options. You can either double tap it, or you can tap and hold it, and you can customize that in the Alexa app. Then you have you know, tons of different options, and I'll show you that in the app later. But regardless, having touchpads is definitely much nicer than clicky buttons. Although these, you do have to press them a little bit harder than maybe like the Galaxy Buds, for example. So a simple, gentle tap doesn't quite cut it. So this is what the microphone sounds like. If I was on a phone call, it would sound something like this. So comment down below. If you think this is clear enough, I will be comparing this to the Galaxy Buds in another video, but these should have, according to the box, a really good microphone. You judge, let me know down below, we'll take a vote and see what you guys think of this. Now, the quality of these, I do think it's definitely a pretty good quality earbud. It definitely matches the price for this. So you do have some pretty rich bass on these and it, it hits the trebles and the mids fairly well. And you can adjust that within the app. So while we're on the subject of the EQ, I'll just open up the app and give you guys a quick tour and show you, first of all, starting with the equalizer, you actually have 13 different levels for the bass, the mids, and the trebles. So that's pretty nice that you can adjust these so well based on your type of music and what you like to listen to. Also looking through the app, one nice thing at the top, they give you the battery status to the nearest percent of each earbud and the case. I really do like having that. Then we have the Bose Active Noise Reduction or Pass-Through. You can select either one of those, or you can select neither if you want it to be off. And of course, if you choose Pass-Through, there are five different levels of Pass-Through, five being the loudest. And so that's great if you're in a, a, you know, a very quiet environment and you want to hear things a little better, you can turn it up. That's a really cool feature to have. I showed you the equalizer, the ear tip sizing. Uh, I'm not gonna go through that. I feel like you guys can figure out what ear tips you want. Then we have the customization of touch gestures. Now, I kind of mentioned that before, how I really like how you can customize you know, tons of different touch gestures. There are a few caveats here, things you can't do. So for example, you cannot turn the volume up or down. I don't know why they missed the mark on that one. I think that's a really obvious one that they should be able to do. But regardless, you can customize the left or the right to double tap or to tap and hold. So four different options there. And if we just go and open up one of them, for example, the default is to alternate between pass through and noise reduction. Then you can also have voice uh, Google Assistant on there. You can have Alexa. Of course, Google Assistant, because I'm using Android right now, if you're using Apple, it's going to be Siri. You can mute the microphones, you can play or pause the music, that is nice. Or you can tell Alexa to play and pause the music, that works as well. And also, I should have mentioned, you can tell Alexa to turn the volume up and down. That's usually what I'll end up doing anyway. Then we have side tone. I talked before about how important it is for me to be able to hear myself when I'm on the phone, just so, I don't know, I feel like I'm yelling and it's hard to talk when you don't hear yourself. And so having this, you know, one to five, you can change the level based on where you are or how good your hearing is. And I really like this ability right there. Then of course, down there you have enable Alexa hands-free. So if you don't want Alexa on all the time, you can turn that off or you can even mute the microphones if you're worried about, you know, like anything spying on you or I, I don't know, people get worried about whatever. I'm not gonna comment on that, but you are able to mute the mics. So unlike Apple and Samsung, when you open up the Echo Buds, they don't automatically pair to an Amazon device such as a Kindle. Instead, you have to pair them like a normal Bluetooth device. Okay, so now to connect it to my laptop, what you wanna do is you wanna open this up and you wanna press and hold the button on the bottom of the cradle here until the little light right there goes from green to a flashing blue. Now it doesn't say that anywhere in the instructions, but I kind of just figured that out and then you go to Bluetooth. So now that these are connected to a laptop instead of a phone, there is no Alexa app here. So when I put these in and I say, Alexa, it tells me to complete setup, pair your Echo Buds in the Alexa app. So you can only use Alexa if it's connected to the Alexa app on your phone. So if I double tap this, it still toggles between pass through and noise reduction. And then if I tap and hold this, let's see what happens. So it's kind of opening, it's trying to open Cortana. Tell me a joke. All right, there we go, there's your daily Cortana joke. So one small complaint about the touch pads though is you're not able to single tap them and play and pause the music. So that's something I'm, I'm used to having on most other earbuds, so like the Galaxy Buds and you know many other earbuds, you tap it once, it'll pause the music, tap it again, it'll play the music. 
So I'm not going to test out the voice assistant too much on here because I think you know how it already works, but basically you can control anything you want with this. So if I just say, Alexa, play My Morning Jacket on Spotify, then it'll open up Spotify on my phone and automatically start playing. So let's talk about some of the issues I had with these earbuds. The first one, as I just mentioned, you can't single tap to play or pause your music. I thought that was kind of a strange caveat there. And then the second one is actually also related to the touch pads. So you can double tap this to answer a phone call. You can double tap to end the phone call. Or if you have multiple phone calls going, you can double tap to switch between them. But what you can't do is reject the phone call from what I saw. Another drawback, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you don't have wireless charging and you don't have the USB-C on there. So micro USB, I think you're not really set for the future there. They're already pretty obsolete. So finding these wires in the future is only going to get harder. Now, lastly, the biggest issue I had, and maybe this issue will go away with just a software update, but for some reason, if I open Spotify on my phone and then tell Alexa to skip songs, she can't, it can't do that. It doesn't work. It tells you you can't play, you can't pause, you can't skip songs, even though the music is playing. So you have to control it on your phone. Now, on the flip side, if I don't open Spotify, and then I tell Alexa to open Spotify on my phone, it still opens up the native Spotify app on my phone, but then I'm able to control the songs. So guys, in conclusion, $130 for these earbuds is a pretty good deal. I like the active noise reduction. That's a pretty good deal to pack into $130 earbuds like this. They're truly wireless. They're fairly smart. I do like using Alexa on them. They are a little bit large, and I think really the biggest shortcoming is in the cradle here. So I think they kind of dropped the ball with this, making it so large, charging in a weird way, uh, and just overall not really hitting the mark with what I would expect a cradle to be for a high-end product. But the earbuds themselves definitely do pretty well. So guys, comment down below what you think about these, um, and I will be making a review in the future comparing these to the Galaxy Buds, like I said before. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss that video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.